Facebook reverses its decision to censor a Vietnam War image of a naked girl escaping an attack in 1972. In a clash between a democratically elected leader and the social media giant over how to patrol the Internet, Norway Prime Minister Erna Solberg said Facebook was editing history by erasing images of the iconic 1972 Napalm Girl photograph which showed children running from a bombed village. The company initially said the photo violated its community standards barring child nudity on the site. After hearing from our community, we looked again at how our community standards were applied in this case. Quote, Facebook said in a later statement, adding it recognized the history and global importance of this image in documenting a particular moment in time. Solberg posted the iconic Napalm Girl news photograph on her Facebook page after the company had deleted it from sites of Norwegian authors and the Daily Often Posten. Facebook had also removed the photo from the page of the woman who had been photographed as a girl, captured by Pulitzer Prize winner Nick Ut of the Associated Press. The image of screaming children running from a napalm attack shows a naked nine-year-old girl at its center. Solberg said Facebook's ban put unacceptable limits on freedom of speech. Protesting Facebook's move, Solberg reposted the photo with a black square covering the naked girl, and published a range of other historic images blacking over faces of people such as Ronald Reagan or Winston Churchill. She also posted a version of the Tank Man image from the 1989 protests in China's Tiananmen Square, with a black square covering a man standing in front of a row of army tanks. News. Com. Our privacy policy includes important information about our collection, use and disclosure of your personal information, including to provide you with targeted content and advertising based on your online activities. It explains that if you do not provide us with information we have requested from you, we may not be able to provide you with the goods and services you require. It also explains how you can access or seek correction of your personal information, how you can complain about a breach of the Australian privacy principles and how we will deal with a complaint of that nature.